Hello, my name is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineer. Today, I am going to show you how to do the setup for a cyclone separator using ANSYS Fury. Right now, I am showing you the geometry of the cyclone. Uh, I am using the space plane that is the CAD tool from ANSYS. Uh, as you can see, the, the cyclone is built with many solids. We have, for example, this part here, this is the common part. This is the, the barrel that includes the inlet of the cyclone. This is um, the other part of the barrel. Also, we have another things like this vortex, this part of the vortex finder. This part here. We have the outer part of the box finder. We have the outer region here. And that's it. Uh, the reason for doing this is that for getting good results in CFD for cycle separators when you use in runs turbulence model, um, it is it is recommended to to use hexahedral meshes, and for doing that in the ANSYS machine, then it is easier to do that uh, using this kind of of split geometries. Okay, the dimension of the cyclone are based on the high efficiency Sturman cyclone. Then this is a very very known uh, kind of cyclone that is reported at the literature. Okay, you can see some papers and you can find which are the dimensions of the Sturman cyclone. The, all of them are related with the diameter of the barrel. Okay, then once we have the, the, the cut of the cyclone built, then we move into the mesh. And let's do the mesh. Okay, now we are in the ANSYS machine model. Then here is our solid that you see is composed by many parts, as, as I show you in the space plane. Then for doing the, the hexahedral mesh, then remember you go here to mesh, CFD fluent, and you put the element size that you want. This is very, very personal. Of course, it's not, it's not personal. You, you need to find the right value by a sensitive analysis of the mesh, but this is our first mesh, then I'm going to use a, a value of 0 0.025 meters. Then uh, we can we can we can see if this is the best option with a sensitive analysis or, or not. That we, we, need, we need to do that. Okay, now if you see how here we have a, a hexagonal mesh, an unstructured hexagonal mesh, and for doing that I, I use different local Local size um, strategies like strip method for the outer part of the vortex finder, a strip method for the inner part of the vortex finder, strip method for the for the barrel, also some edge sizings. Yeah, you see some edge sizing here, here. Uh, this uh, also sounds on the main part of the barrel, a multi-sun in the outer region, a multi-sun on the this part of the barrel also. And you can do you can use different local cycle tools uh, if you prefer and if you feel comfortable for doing the mesh. Okay. Then I have already built the mesh and as you can see using this um, you can obtain this kind of meshes. Of course, if you want to use inflation, you can include inflation. I am not going to do it for for doing this video uh, not too long, but you can uh, you can include some inflation if you, if you want. Okay. Then you see here we have our oh uh, here mistake. It's not a child. Then let's do something. I am going to take this. I am going to search the method and a method. This will be multi sound okay? And now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to generate the mesh of the selected bodies. Okay, just wait. Everything's okay. Um, okay, there was like a mistake here. Let's see. And what I'm going to do is to clear all the data. 
And now I am going to start this. I'm going to mesh this part first. Okay, good. Now this. Good. This one. Good. Let's see this. and with this perfect then here we have our mesh head header mesh and we are ready for going into the setup uh, well remember that before going into the setup it is a best practice to check the quality of the mesh then we can do it here in display style I can change this for example for skewness and we have here like a high volume of skewness 0 0.97 and this skewness is like in this part here okay here in this part and also if we check the orthogonal quality and we have also a low value okay so we need to check this we need to check in the region in order to improve the mesh and have good good accuracy in our results okay then let's try to fix this and to have a, a good quality of the mesh before going into the setup okay for fixing the problem what i did was to split the the upper part then if you see here in the geometry then i have uh, same components but here you see that the barrel is different then I have now a new region that is called inlet region that was split from the original one and I have this part as a, as a different part of this then I increase the number of divisions for the this part in order to have a, a final mesh here and with that you see that my orthogonal quality uh, arise and also if I check skewness, it, it reduce. Uh, this is in on the limit. Uh, we can play with this and have a, a, a small body, of course, with a, a small, uh, a finer mesh. But I, I think this is okay. And I will finish the the mesh generation. Finish. Okay. And finally, yeah, perfect. Then this is our mesh, the skewness value, the mass skewness value is 0 0.9. If I check the, the orthogonal quality, 0 0.26, the minimum value, that's okay. Yeah, then our mesh is done. Then if we count the mesh, it is around 76,000 cells and that's a good number of course and it is depending on the studies uh, some researchers have used meshes of 300,000 another have used 600,000 1 million but not 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 values larger than that I think uh, around 500,000 and 1 million uh, cells are the most common values of cells that we can find on the, on, the, on, the, on the research papers. Of course, I am not saying that this is what this will happen. Some papers show studies with a lower amount of cells. But, you know, but what I have seen is that the mesh is around this value, 500,000 and 1 million cells, depending on the, on the, on the researcher, on, depending on the, on the mesh strategy, you know, many things that affect a final mesh count. Okay, people, thank you very much for your attention. This is the first part of a series of video focusing, focusing on the design and modeling of cyclone separators using CFD, particularly using ANSI fluid. Thank you very much for your attention. Remember, I am Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. Bye bye.